So Era has to be a, a sentient. Why are all those folks going to Lua? So this is all backstory of the old war. Like what happened during the old war. There he is. Let her go. So that's Margulis with the Tenno. No, no, it's Margulis. Do you even recognize me anymore? No. It's... I recognize the enemy. No. Sister. Ah. It's me. Era. Okay, yeah. It's that's Lotus. Era is her brother. The makers called you. Unraveled your mind. They're using you to kill us. Damn, how does he poop? The queen of the aphids, with her eye in the void. But I don't blame you. I blame them. You believe these are your children. But I am the only family you've got left. So choose our family, our people, or these parasites. Choose, Natal. Choose! I am not Nata. I am the Lotus. It's interesting how Lotus's design still shows her slight bit of humanity, but Era looks so fucked up and leggy. <laughs> and there's Ballas. Oh my god! I didn't. I didn't notice that she had crab. Crab. <laughs> Master Error, he speaks true. 
My... The Oracle. Are gone. The Bios are divided. Infighting over what remains. Only the Tenno. The Tenno. The enemy. No! Yes. Made by you. To kill us. Okay, that's, yes. that's new info. Ugh. But you have something our people have never had before, Natar. You are stained by their wickedness. Use it. Use their sin against them. They're listening. Let them. They know we are building. It won't matter. No, it won't. So what are you waiting for? Sing for us, sister. Call them home! Oh shit. Alright, so we're going real sci-fi now. I wonder if we lose a little bit of that personal story stuff as we keep going. Damn, I'm doing all right. We just watched you be real fucking creepy. I just met you for the I just met you for the first time. Uh, yeah, I was watching. Oh, you were watching? Yeah, chat, was chat, watching say hi to Antonio. Chat, that's Era on the phone. Hey, everybody. crazy out. Is that his intent? It's crazy how they made the last quest, they so made Balas quiet. look so bad. So dark. And now Balas, I actually feel kind of pity for him. They really did such a great job with Antonio's voice. You heard him. You can finish what she started. Finish the war. Bring peace. Bring purity. I'm really curious to see what the sentients even want, really. On Lua, the Lotus, I, I attacked you. You died. Hmm. You don't remember everything then. <sighs> yes, your aphids wounded me, and our forces were depleting fast. I knew I had failed. Failed you, my sister. Failed our family. I had no choice but to retreat. No. You were destroyed. The Tenno made sure of that. You're still recovering. With all that the makers did to you, it will take time to heal. She suspects something about him. He is one of them, isn't he? A maker. Oh shit. They're gonna kill Ball Ass. I can't even say his name right anymore. Oh! Oh, they're gonna kill ball ass. Ba ballas. <laughs> Holy shit. It was intended for mature audiences. Hell yeah. Or, sorry, new war. Wow, a disclaimer. We are seasons. All of us. Thanks for telling me to turn up my graphics. It looks amazing. Growing in the light. Fading in the dark. Man, you feel that like 
propulsory tension in here. It feels like everything is ended. Everything is lost, you know? The good old days are gone. What are you this, I feel like this is a real sharp turning point for uh, Warframe in general. Yet. Real, real, real coming uh, head to head. I mean, we haven't even started, really, if you think about it. It's all been prelude up until now. This is like proper story. It's pretty cool. Join forces with the Grenier. <laughs> Even the Grenier are like, fuck. <laughs> I'm playing as a fucking Grenier? <gasps> what? Fucking love this Brother, game. <laughs> the worms have swarmed the sector. Oh my Are god. Remember how the game I was playing, like for like 40 hours, was just me going from planet to planet? I'll never get over that shit, man. Uh, now we're seeing different versions of the war. Ew! Oh god, fuck! I have to fight- No, no, fuck! Oh, that scared, that scared me. I swear, I I have a feeling we're gonna have to team up with- I actually kinda hope this isn't your classic Avengers story where you have to team up with all your enemies to take down the big bad. Like, it'd be crazy if- I, I don't know, well, I have no idea where the fuck this is gonna go, so... Am I gonna play as a Corvus next? I swear, Warframe is the best kept secret in gaming. I don't care. Everybody needs to know. And I'm not just saying that because nearly a thousand people are in here. I truly am fucking in love with this game. Oh my god, the closer it What I love is that they made the Grenier actually be badass. And not just fodder for your Warframe to kill. That. That is a job well done. That is hard to do. It's interesting how the sentients have this sort of humanity, like uh, this sort of def they have this not see call. deformed like appearance to them, like where they look like like uh, they look like insects. Like uh, it's cool, not human, but you know what I mean. Call sneak good. <laughs> Oh, I missed that the writing is in Grenier. Ah, oh, shit. I'll take a look when I... For the queens. I'm really upset that Artena always said, Man, the Grenier sure are ugly. Oh, no! Ah! I'm so relieved it wasn't a quick time event. Wow, so they get one of their eyes removed to fit that, like... To fit the... Oh. <laughs> Doom guy energy, I love it. Queens. So... Felt like a... Felt, felt like a Gears moment, didn't it? Yeah, that felt very much like a Gears moment right there. I just, I just needed a chainsaw on the end of my gun and I would have been very satisfied. <laughs> I salute you, 175. Oh, no! Oh, the queens. oh my god, he has to... He, he has to kill himself! He has to sacrifice himself! <gasps> oh, no! Oh no! 
No, call! Oh no! I did not put that together. For the... For my brothers. Huh? Oh. Subverted expectation. Uh oh. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh yeah, so now we're going to play as a Corvus. Wow, they're really humanizing the enemy now. Why are you going to make me think about this game in a different way? And that was... To your stations, that was some nice... Our victory is close at hand. Well, shut the fuck up, Alan. <laughs> Any remaining tech oh! Now shoot it! Oh my god, I would never. It did so much for me. Move quickly now. Heartless. Oh, I love puzzles. <laughs> oh, I love this. I'm getting some uh shield drone dispenser? Oh thank profit. Oh nice, okay. I like this. This is so cool. Oh if I'm fast. You know what I like about this game too? Helpful hints that don't like handhold you. Like, that handheld me, but not in, like, a... It didn't handheld me, like, in a God of War type of way, where it's like, Oh, maybe I should jump over there! It was like, you know... I was like, S there must be a way for me to re-energize my shields. Kind of nice. So what's really cool about this soundtrack um, is the little bit of... Uh, there's quite a bit of, uh, like... Well, there's a rock element here, but there is... A Ooh... There's also like an EDM element, just slightly. It's really synthetic, which I dig because, you know, as we understand the Corvus to be very technologically savvy, that kind of comes across. I've been gaming since I was seven years old, so. Is, there anything else is that the joke we've been saying? Yes, that is, yes. Well, I mean, it's not a joke. Huh? Over there. The next time you wonder. Oh, I love puzzles. Next time you wonder if I'm a gamer. Just remember, I've been gaming since before some of you were born. I started gaming in 1992 with Super Super Nintendo. It was the first thing I got handed when we when we immigrated from Italy. The first system I ever got was a Super Nintendo. Oh no! Oh god! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! All right, now. All his power is going to his attack. Shields, vulnerable. Beams, incredibly dangerous. Blast those shields while I can. Quickly now. Alright. I destroy the shields. Alright, and now, now. And now, I send that over. Over there. Yeah. All right, it's not hard. So this is why it takes six hours. Done. Attention crew, stand down. All stations, you'll be pleased to know that I, Alan V, have negotiated a peaceful and profitable transfer of power to our new fleet control. Firing sync re-engaged. Authorization, Corpus Tech First Class Viso Dash R. Take your shot for profit. Wow. Oh my god, the meatballia is here! Holy shit! Holy fuck. Okay. This is either going to go very well or very poorly. Man, the Railjack is so cool. 
Wow, I can't believe we're allies with the Corpus. That is crazy. Intruders on board. Sentient boarding party. Man, Umbra is so fucking cool. Tensions here. Oh fuck. Oh no, oh god, fuck, don't die. It's incredible how they made it so that I liked each single character that we played as. Mm. I love how repetitive this metal melody is, but it's not uh, boring. It's like really powerful and really gives the feeling of like, well, the, the stakes are really high, right? It's so cool how just a, a, a very simple string motif can make it feel like we're really at the end of our line, end of our rope, if you will. And I think it's really important to pay attention to little things like that. That That's so extremely effective. You know, like, we have not seen a success yet. And this little string motif does such a great job of sort of illuminating the fact that we basically are, are going to lose. <clears throat> Like there's there's not really like I don't I don't think that there is going to be a happy ending to this to any of this. And whatever does occur will be seismic. Oh fuck. What the fuck is that? Uh, I also really like how we've had this incredible build up where now you know it, 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 it it's easy to sort of have some sort of resentment towards tension. Uh, because of everything that happened in, uh, the War Within, you know, with the Queens and stuff, but also, it's really cool how, uh, we've seen so much- oh, fuck, another one of these? Just how now, like, Tension is, like, our friend, almost like our father figure in a way? If- if Lotus was, like, like our mother, in, in a sense? I think Tension is the closest- Tension, sorry, not Tension. Tension is the closest thing to, uh, a father. For the Tenno, and I, and I like that. I like how there's a sense of like, you know, I've got your back. In in a world where like, not very many. Oh, I really I really appreciate that. What's with the sphincters? First Baldur's Gate, or first uh, actually first Warframe, then Baldur's Gate. This looks like me after I've had too much uh, too much spicy stuff. I know you can relate. Look at that. That's that's heartburn right there. Look at that fucking that's the glottis. This actually looks actually it's funny. This is what the vocal folds look like. Look, that's what the vocal folds look like actually. So this is this is funny. These two right here, if you look down at your throat from a, like a physio, like a physiological like a diagram, these two things right here, those are the hyoid bones. And these are the these are the vocal folds. They look just like this. I bet you they base it off of vocal folds because this looks like if you look down on the uh, the more you know. Could also say it's something else, but let's not. Old man, I am eager to show you how this war ends. Why is he allowed to do anything? Not with brutality, but with hope. Not with lies, but truth. A truth for all who are strong enough. To believe. Nope. <laughs> oh no. Do its work. Call out Dax. Cool water flows the moon behind a cloud. A haiku? What a fucking badass. He'll get in soon. They all will. And this war will be over before it even begins. Not with bombs and blood, but with truth. They programmed you and your kind 
Now it is our turn to program them. The pain it sounds like it's coming Some from Nata, not. It's time. Yeah. So why is Nata? Why? Valeria. No. No. Valeria. Who's Valeria? See the veil work. Turn his memories inside out. Making him see the things he's lost. Putting pain where it serves us. A lost love, perhaps. Her life cut short by the very tenor he had sworn to protect. Call out, old man. Give her justice. Give her peace. I... Oh, Tashi. How do they get void energy, though? What was on his face? Oh, no. One for the reject panel, then. I retooled his uh, outfit and his face. He looks primo better. Fucking kill Balas, please. What the fuck? You hear that? Uh, it's Lotus's theme and our theme combined, right? Look at the betrayal in his eyes. But that's not marvelous. That, I don't understand. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, this is so much cooler with fucking Umbra. Let me go, child. Let me go. I can't. I won't. This fucking bitch.
Holy shit. Wow. That was nuts. Holy shit. Lots to digest there. I don't really want to ask too many questions. In fact, I just want to keep playing so that I can sort of get there on my own. But man, that is nutty. That is fucking crazy. Uh, that's so funny. I mean, just like, ooh. I love, I loved the arc there and like meeting the characters, obviously, as I was talking throughout the thing. Um, and it was gr great. It was great to see like sort of the destruction and like sort of um, propping up feels like there's two things happening on the one hand there's like era who's sort of uh you know starting this new war and uh has his own personal reasons and mo motives and then balas also on the other hand also has his own reasons and motives and then obviously us being killed there i love that umbra was the frame i chose for that that was really special um i'm not even going to look at the chat i'm just going to keep going uh, I just wanted to mention some thoughts that I felt while experiencing it right in that second. So let's keep her, let's keep her going. Oh God, Narmer. Oh no. But that's not true, the Andrati family. Massacres. Huh? But their violence did not end with me, did it? Oh, they blame everything on the tenor? It's carried on to all of you. Grineo languished in their torture plexes. Ostron clayed starred for Tenno Tithe. Corpus pupils weeping Tenno praise under blade. Solaris souls blacken the skies of Tenno foundries. But there aren't even that many Tenno out there. It's our time. An era of peace and security. The devils have been cast out. And by the void, the Tenno shall never return. Are bad tonight. Oh my god, it's my Tenno as an adult, but no, that's not possible because my Tenno's dead. I like how even though we're not in a position of strength, you still feel the power fantasy elements. Listen to the melody actually. Ba, 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 ba. I don't know, I think this is my Tenno, he looks like it. We're wearing the same outfit. It's so funny. I mean, it's incredible too how like a really like kind of basic espionage gameplay is uh, really fun. Uh, I don't know how they did this. I don't know. This guy runs like my Tenno too. It's so crazy because when you're playing as a character like this where you can't run like the Tenno, you can't run as... Oh! Yeah, it's definitely my Tenno. But the fact that you can't, you, you can't actively, uh, you can't speed, it actually makes you sort of think about how fast and how powerful the Tenno are. In the day to day, how often do you think about that? Not very often. I also like that I could play super stealthy here. And it's like pretty viable. 
Man, is this gonna be another one of those things where, like, the more story stuff you do, like, now I'm gonna see adult ass Tenos? I bet you it is. No! No! Krunameka! Please! All as the apostasy. Oh, fuck. Love the environmental storytelling here. Why in a Grenier ship, though? Because we were allied with the Grenier, or we are allied with the Grenier? Dude. Wait, that's a fucking Warframe. Oh, that you know who that is? That's a fucking mag. Now I understand. Wow. They... Since the Tenno left without saying goodbye. Since Narmer and the masks. When the Tenno all since left. Truth became a luxury few you hear that? Lay their hands on. There's a little bit of this is what you Whoever's are in there. Picked up the mantle the Tenno oh dropped, my god. Drifting wild. Oh my god. Popping masks and loosen bonds. So the Tenno Whether all left. Be, and they abandoned the Warframe. You. And then they took the Drifting. Warframe. Because the Tenno all left. They took the Warframe and turned them into these like. Dif 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 disfiguration, this de deformity. Hey, give me that. All right, all right. Good to see you too. He is incredibly ugly. What do you think, Ordis? <laughs> what do I think? I'm gonna have to retool that. I think finish her. This is torture. What's left of her is just wasting away. We've tried everything. I have no care and feeding of eidolons in my data arrays. Oh. We don't know what we are Lotus is an eidolon? Or uh, Nata? No, we don't. But you know someone that does. I wow. Know that... Wait, operator, you can't be serious. I told you, don't call me that. Sorry, uh, sorry. Sorry. If you want to get to the outer systems <laughs> past Narmer. <laughs> We'll need a corpus shuttle. Please don't even tell me I have to go to each of these fucking nodes. Could you imagine? Go to each node. Oh man, for Narmer.
And it works so well because it's all a cappella and super pulled back. It's all octaves. And just that re repeated lower piano in there it helps. Oh man, these poor guys. Praise the wise and mighty Now we have the swell. Wow. Nice harmony there. And there's no vibrato. And then that T do is really what really kicks in and it's effective. Wow, that's that's actually staggering when you consider Box Solaris collapsed under Nama. Right. You're on your own here. Keep your head down and get topside as quick as you can. Wait. Deacons. They'll sense if you're not veiled. Give them a wide berth, or you'll be sucking black a woos before long. Can I walk? <laughs> wow, that's really powerful considering how Fortuna was when we first arrived. Yeah, it's so, it's so interesting. I think there's something really powerful about that song and the way that it's done is really cool too because it's so pulled back in the vocals. And you hear how in the vocals, when you, it, it, the big difference is you hear how that has uh, more of a, a sense of confidence in it, but disregard that that thing. But when when we're when we're singing like up really up close to the mic, it's all stripped and it's all in the throat. So it's like it's like it has this defeated quality to it, which is really um, effective. And also, there's just a little bit of, of harmony there when we go, uh, when we talk about the golden sun. And so there, we still have the, the lifting up and, and sort of uh, saluting and praising the golden sun, which, you know, literally in this case, because I, I assume that that object there is what they perceive as, as the sun. And so that's where, even though they are completely brainwashed, for we're all one to our golden sun for an armor, for an armor. Right. So like that's how the, those little musical moments in there create a real feeling of like, wow, these people have lost everything. And because they're wearing their masks, they have no concept of it. But what's actually even more interesting to me is that because they're wearing these masks and they're completely, uh, you know, sort of owned by Narmer and Balas, um, their subconscious with the that T do still comes through for an armor, right? That's still like the subconscious of like, I've lost everything. Uh, it's really interesting. And then to talk about this really quickly, which I, I was hoping that it actually would be like just the slow version of foreign armor back here the whole time. I think that would have been really effective if we just had the piano Da, 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 ya, da, da, da. And said so this is much more of that like that quality that we hear um, <clears throat> in Lua or anytime we're in an Oricon vessel where there's that almost that um, lifting up in prayer again and sort of like reflecting on the majesty of a great civilization. That music also it comes across in here now, and that makes sense because when you look at some, I mean, I don't know if this is true or not, but this looks like Oricon design, and all of this stuff like it connects us to Balas, and it connects us to the fact that Balas controls these people. Uh, anyway, so that's a little bit of thoughts on that. Really, really incredibly effective. Um, honestly, it, again, the amazing thing about Warframe is that Warframe manages to be so good out of context that in some cases you don't even need context, but honestly it's it's incredible both in and out of context, which is really hard to do, I think, in gaming. And um and it's and it's great. It's great to uh, 
really great to hear it Avoid and see it. Or they'll seal you in. Um, no complaints from me. <gasps> no! <gasps> Not the children. Not that I spent any time with them, but damn. They were like, do this to get a K-Drive, a K K drive. and I was like, honestly, I think I'm good. Hello, hello. Missing your brain buster, then. Ignore her. We can't risk it. <laughs> can't risk what? Jank side the comms? Need a ship. Corpus tags. Then you'll be wanting to pay a visit to that bleeding brain buster factory. I know a shortcut. Might grab yourself a K drive if you've got the legs for it. It's actually incredible how good this game plays out of Warframe. Name's Little Duck. And you? You must be that stick in the spokes I've heard about. You weren't in with a Tenno. Back in the day, were ya? The fact that I'm not like, oh fuck, Something I have to play like as the that. Tenno. Also, I'm getting a, a big like Luke Skywalker vibe here. Return of the Jedi vibes. Shipment of brain busters, and there's one with your name on it. See, security is lax on the camp now. The only way inside is wearing one of those sticky things. What? Don't know what effect it will have on you. Wait, why this is Ordis in a Helios? I just put that together. And why did I buy that? <laughs> but you know, the, the power fantasy is such an important part of Warframe, and the fact that they don't lose that. It's pretty cool. Oh, he looks way better. Shuttle uplink once you're inside. Think happy thoughts, yeah? <laughs> My child. So beautiful to behold. How do you feel? <laughs> we found you within the derelict chairman. Failing. Evil. Void in your heart. The balance. You saw a lost child in need of a father. As you recovered, he noticed me less and less. What good was I to him? If you weren't sick. So I don't really understand this Lotus Margulis thing. I mean, I know, I get it, but. Loved him, but she only loved you. Is she talking as Margulis right now? Your serenity dreams of mother, father. I made them nightmares. Nay. Okay. Oh, come on. What the fuck, dude? That is such bullshit. It is fucking 50 feet away. That is bizarre. <laughs> yup. <laughs> ah! Damn it. Oh, oh, I need to... Come to me. He saw through my deception and my judgment was swift and true. He cradled you in his arms, saying, Child. Child, my child, forgive me. Wake from this horrid dream of hers. The world outside is waiting for you. These horrors of Zaraman arise only to hold you ill. I love you. For the record, <coughs> this is a. Uh... Hold on. Whoa.
fuck that. Oi! Focus! Jab that console quick! How convenient. Oh, takes me back to the good old Tenno days. Expect those brain busters might be on back order for a while. Been a pleasure lifting the new drifter. Lovers, holdouts. I just got word on the way. Narm Head Factory got hit. No doubt the handiwork of that drifter we've been hearing about. You hear that it's motif? Have a little bit of truth in the world. That's so cool. So cool that we hear the motif of this is what you are when you go back to your area with the ships. This confirms that you are clearly insane. Peas in a phylopod orders. Stay close. In case I come to my senses. Oh shit. Can he dead up? I'm very curious to see how we get our Warframe power back. So Exalted. many so many the questions. Dissidence remains entrenched in the shadows below. Ooh. The sea runs crimson with the blood of our faithful. But I will prevail. In Darmer's name, all is one. Huh? I hope we get to uh, make sp Oh my god, is that a fucking stalker? Yeah, it is. Um, I'd also love to get more info on Margulis, to be honest with you. I feel like there's a lot that I still don't... That dejection. Oh no, okay. <laughs> I'd love to know more about Margulis on the whole. Fucking stalker. Unclean spirit thins our herd from the shadows. It will not matter. My faith is too strong. Who the fuck? Trembling light. But I am not afraid. Alice. His love is within Hey, me. wait, that's fucking Shadow. One. That's, um. Us. Oh my god, that's fucking, uh. Hemhaw's. Dude, that's, uh, fucking Stalker. Oh no. <gasps> the golden lord of lies cannot kill. Hunhau! Tenno. He's fucking huge. <sighs> she lives, Hunhau. No. She only lingers. And without her kind, not for long. Their search for her remains has long since begun. The shadow can dispatch you swiftly. A mercy. The Archons will not. What do they want? The same as you. To raise the dead. Only they have the power to do it. Unlike you. Are we working with Hunhao? You are just as incomplete as she is. No metal be beasts. The enemy of no my enemies. Void fury. <laughs> they will snap you in half and plant a veil on your face. Why would he not want to work with Era? Not if you help me. Oh shit! Your shadow's like <laughs> Stalker's like, huh? What are friends for? Of course. What are <laughs> friends for? Let me explain what you are up against, friend. You see, the Archons were made by my son, Era. Hybrid abominations of the old war. Raised from the blighted battlefields where Sentient and Warframe fell. I've seen the snake before. 
You know Naira, the eldest. <laughs> Her whip cracks with an Eidolon's wrath. Bone-shattered shockwaves unleashed by every unfurling of its tip. Her whip is more than pain. It is protection. And more. For if you stand in awe of its spiral, the great thunderclap that follows will knock you senseless. Though she may be diminished somewhat by this exertion. And her gaze. To meet her gaze is certain death. Only by turning away would you hope to survive. Oh my god. Mechanics. What do they call the wolf? Amar. He will gnash his fang blade, filling the air with deadly coils of flame. Survive the flame, and you might see frenzy. A relentless fury of slashes. Only the greatest of force will subdue him in this. Should he howl, the pack will appear. Mirrors of himself, meant to confuse. Only the true eye can distinguish the Alpha among them. I should have brought pen and paper. Is that an owl? The owl? is named Boreal. His trident strikes from a great distance. Deadly, chaotic arcs. One might avoid them with a keen eye, if you can anticipate their faint threads before. Even the very ground you walk upon will become Boreal's weapon. He may have a weakness at this moment, but it is not obvious. Worst of all is the paralyzing screech. Terrifying, yet this moment is your only chance to close in, unseen, and strike. I gotta remember all that shit? Okay. Vain glorious. Welp, that's it. Off you go to die. You have nothing to fight these beasts with. I cannot guess how many lives a Tenno has, but you seem eager to lose another. I've got work to do. You can lay here all you want, doing nothing, wallowing in ancient grudges. She chose the Tenno. But Valis and your groveling son, they used her. They'll do it again and again, burning her up for whatever suits them and tossing the ashes when they're done. They cannot have her. Damn. Tenno. Wait. I have wallowed here. It is true. Fading in this deep hole. Waiting to die. But without release. Held here by a purpose I cannot abandon that she is free. So no, they cannot have her. But hear me, even if I help you, even if by some miracle you succeed, she will not be the same. Even for us, death leaves a mark. Do you? Understand. I understand. What is that? A weapon as old as those you hunt. Not a rock. Not a rock.
Wow. Dun, 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 dun. Ah! Fuck. These Archons are going to be really cool fights. I know I'm going to die a whole bunch, but it's going to be really, really neat to... Oh! Um, it's going to be really neat to experience these fights. Oh, man, this game does so many things so uniquely. You know, it's funny. I don't. No one's complained about the story to me, but a lot of folks have mentioned that they um, have felt that they weren't necessarily like keen on the direction that it went in, and I can sort of see why because the sacrifice and chains of Harrow were Haro were very, I think, personal stories that were essential to get us to the overarching story uh, that we're experiencing right now. I, I'm really liking New War. Um, but obviously, like, as of right now, it doesn't have that, that personal, like, that personal conflict. I assume it's going to shift. It's still very good. Uh, but, like, it's, I think it's really hard to top Chains of Haro and Sacrifice in terms of their, like, depth. Um, like, this is, this feels very, like, pure sci-fi. Um, and I love the stakes and I love the, I love the story, but it's interesting how, how, you know, it's sort of a departure it's been from, from the experience of those two quests and Second Dream, which was, you know, personal to us. And then, I don't know, it's just, it's pretty cool though. It's keeping me super captivated, which is very hard to do, so... Oh, sh shit. Like, I really have a hard time. I get kind of bored, and uh, I've yet to be bored in this game. Alive! I can hardly believe it. He actually agreed to help? Yeah. Bastard even gave me homework. <laughs> you cannot kill the devil, Tenno. But you can send it back to hell. Right, which is what Bala said to him. I don't understand. That I don't understand yet. Oh my god, flashback. <gasps> We're gonna see when the void. Oh my god, are we about to. You wanna get the tension again? Oh, I'm so excited. schedule has changed again so we're moving exams up with it everyone has studied their temporal axioms unit i assume ta but we were meant to have physics we're right near the oh, void saturn precepts. i've never had such an enthusiastic group of students imagine trying to do homework now what the, with I that the main screen right there. and pay close attention Temporal Axioms, Unit 6, The Prison of Linear Time. Presentism, the obsolete theory of linear time, posits that now is all that is real. In this frame, the present absolute, the now, moves constantly toward the future. When are we ever gonna use this stuff? and leaves the static past behind, discarded, consigned to unreality. The future remains to be discovered, but is less real than even the past. Right. We see the shadows on the cave wall, but not the hands that cast them. <clears throat> the Void offers humanity the truer telling of eternalism that now is merely a facet of a great block my head hurts it is relative and we can change the frame the tyranny of the present absolute is overthrown tomorrow is now its equal 
Eyes on your own screen. Entrati. Question one. Which of the following is not one of the theories of time? Fucking test. Incorrect. Fuck! Futurism. Correct. Presentism and eternalism are the principal theories of time. Question two. What is the principal failing of presentism? It considers the present to be the only reality. It has never been endorsed by an Archimedean of unblemished standing. It lacks elegance. It is not true. Incorrect. Fuck. Pardon the interruption. This is Zeremon Actual. All decks, all stations, stand by for reliquary field drills. Students, please direct your attention to the windows. You may find this instructive. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, How long does she have? Not long. You must hunt Eris Archons at once, and take from them their power over restoration. Given such a task before you, I suspect you'll be gone before she. Forgive me, but this would be a lot easier if you could use that old... Uh... Tello... Magic. How did you lose it? I didn't. More like, I don't have it yet. Or Naira. And then she's gonna beat the shit out of me. That's all I remember. <laughs> so. Oh my fucking god, look at her. Fucking cool, dude. All right, so she poisoned me. I'm sick. I did shit talk, Mag. Oh, what? Oh, it's oh, it's easy mode. This is really powerful, and what's cool is that uh, I, 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 I feel that the music, the soprano here, represents Naira, right? And I think that the intense drumming, subtextually, not reality-based, but subtextually... Ah! Subtextual... Look away, please. Subtextually, the music signifies her, like, rage, because she is a mixture of old and new. And she has that sort of leftover... This is such headcanon shit that I find it's probably extremely inaccurate, but... Like, because... Because of the fact that she... Oh, no. Uh, that's not where I should be. Because she inhabits the Warframe, and I'm assuming that these aren't blueprints, but, like, maybe... Maybe it represents the, like, sort of sentience that's still left over of those frames? Oh. Come on, beat the shit out of her. Oh, okay, or don't. No! The creature retreats! God Wounded. damn it. Oh. Wow, this music is... Alright, half health? Alright, I'll take it.
Oh, shadow. Awesome. I love that. Never too far away. Whoa. Oh my god, so they caught off their heads, put that crystal in. And by shadow, I mean stalker. That's so cool. Well, I mean, it's fucked up as hell, but it's so cool. Okay, so now we give her a crystal. What happens? There too. Bum, 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 bum. That's her motif. Nice. So what are these crystals made of that are giving her back part of her life force? By the stars. <sighs> Holy shit. God, Jesus. He's like, damn, your dad was right. What the fuck? Okay, oh, oh, flashback. So this is, okay, so it was that void crash. Oh, because the parents and the... They all turned infected? And only the... Oh, I don't remember this. Is that... Is that my mom? Oh, yeah. So the Void made them... Their parents lost their brains in the Void because of the... The Void whatever. Cephalon, kill lights and switch off. Why is this happening to us? What did we do wrong? I mean... Something went wrong with the jump. But we'll survive. Promise. Okay. Hey, why don't you go sit closer to the others until we get environmental back? My mom's coming to get me soon. <sighs> no, she's not. Hmm. We're going to be your family for a while. Okay? No! My mom's coming! I don't think so, Baron. Uh oh. Wait a second. Hey, lose your light? Here, you can take mine. Hold up. Thanks, kiddo. I think I will. <sighs> Got me again. <laughs> I'm gonna keep. I think I like. I feel like Amara is gonna be way fucking harder. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll do the easy one last. It's interesting to me that Hunhao only wanted her to be free. Hunhao didn't. Hunhao didn't want like, you know. Hanhao, it, it, it's not even so much that, like, Hanhao just didn't want her to, want her home and wanted her to be, like, you know, who she really is. And she sort of got distracted by, you know, her love for the Tenno and stuff and, like, protecting them or whatever, right? But, like, it's interesting how it's not really about, I'm not sure that even he would hate, he wouldn't be upset again towards Era if, the, if it wasn't for the fact that, like, he just wants Nata to be home and to be herself and to be safe, right? And like be free. That's like, as a father, that's his main and only purpose. It's interesting how ultimately that's why he's siding with us because he knows that we want to free her as well. That's cool. Damn. 
Actually, you know, I think that that singer is actually mu uh, it, it's a more primal thing rather than. All right, the wolves. Okay, so calling the wolves. Whoa. Yeah. So now I need to recognize the real one, which requires. How the fuck? One of these is different. How do I tell? I love this duality in the theme here. Oh, Jesus, fuck! Oh my fucking god. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. I would assume that if I had to restart, it would be here. The checkpoint system is very generous. I never feel like my time is wasted. That's another really thing, a huge thing I like about Warframe. Even when you grind for 20 minutes, you know that there's always some sort of reward. So, like, you're never really upset about it because you know that you are going to get something you want, usually. Okay, I don't want to fuck it up now, though. One more hit. Oh, I got it. Nice. Sentience were created by Orokin? What? Okay. Alright, this shit's about to be fucked up. No biting this time, okay? I get the feeling things are not gonna go su- Jesus Christ. I get the feeling that things are not gonna go super well here. After all this, we'll have to kill Lotus. So what's the green stuff? I'm... well... I'm not... I'm Tenno! Zeraman! All that! Ten? No. Nice. She's terrifying. <clears throat> oh, ooh! Time's up, kiddo! I can save them, all of them, but you have to want it. Let's say we shake on it. What? What? Oh shit. She's full on sentient. She doesn't know who you are. No shit. <laughs> what do we do? Oh shit. <laughs> tell her about your dad. Tell her about her dad. That must be Power of the Void. <clears throat> oh no! Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Man, she's so powerful with only two of those crystals, which I don't know what those crystals are, but... Is she about to eat me? So this is like some sort of void power. Oh. 
way, but... Wait, what? What? Luna freaked out because I screamed what? This is what you are, sort of fading away. Okay, so now I'm back to being a teenager because of the whole, like, futurism and presentalism and eternalism. So essentially, Hate Kiddo was <clears throat> the older version of us the whole time? But why would it, it scare us? Her. Uh, I am certain. Nay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, nay, okay. But of course your Archons have her. Tenno! Even hell was not hot enough to split them! What does it matter? We, you, have won! Normor spreads across the system. Monuments rise to your glory. All who live, Bios and not, kneel before you. But not them! Some great triumph here? That this dullard herd worships me, wailing freedom from their rotten gobs. When the truth is, they all thirst for that piss warm comfort of being told what to think. They wanted to kneel. But not them. Then what is your command? Gather the fleet. She is coming to us. What's left of her? She will kneel before me. And, by my word, slaughter the only thing she has ever loved. And then... We feast. Hello? Oh, that wasn't him whistling that whole time. Oh! That was... That was me. Hmm. <gasps> Mom and Dad. Have a seat. It's almost ready. What the fuck? Who's in here? There's literally no one. Oh my god. Mommy? Daddy? Oh wait. One of my mods told me to not do that.
That's fucking me. Thank God I invested the time. Older me looked so bad. What the hell? Hungry? Uh, yeah. What? Do they know Orders. each other? Okay. Yeah, but what are... Got all your Warframes back? Yeah. Why did you... So... Where's she at now? Different. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Still missing a few from the deck. Hunting that golden freak, I figure. Futurism. What's his name? Ballas? Wait, 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 wait. So you don't know? Ballas, right. <laughs> you ought to be more careful. I might not be around next time. Around? Okay, so what is this then? Are you from the <laughs> future? Nah. But that'd be a lot easier to get now, nah, wouldn't it? As far as I can make out, you're the me that got rescued from this shit, and I'm the you that did not. Not sure which of us got it worse. Oh. So, you've been stuck here this whole time? Not here, exactly. But yeah, stuck. You got bigger problems, right now at least. Yeah, it's great. Ah, that's right. my cue, cool. I think. Would love to give you a hand and all, but... The way this works, seems like finishing this is either... You, you, or me, you. So... What do we think? Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Obviously. You saved her. Nursed her back to health. It has to be you. But so, the lotus that young, young him has is not the lotus that I'm saving. No. Oh, yeah, that was the right choice. Yes, sir. Exodus protocols reversed. Orbital frontal section reattached. The Orbis was Running dead. Diagnostics. So. Corrosion minimal. Ah. All seals holding. Orbis. Stasis protocols lifted. Systems coming back online. Cephalon refit complete. Excuse me, but where is my operator? Looks like I'm your operator for now. Oh! Worry, fine. You want to tell me how this works? Oh, shit. Indeed, you are my operator. You can help me run through the cross check if you like. Then we can annihilate Narber. Find the Lotus. Whoa! <laughs> ah, that's cool. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. I love that it's Umbra. It's fucking cool. Yeah, plus the whole new arc. Can I kill these things yet, or do I have to? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh no. Konzu's been afflicted with one of those wretched Nama veils. Tear off the lying mask. <laughs> wow, okay, all right. It's been so long. 
Master Tease and I is forever at your service. Fly, my friend. Oh, fuck yeah. Are you for real right now? A fucking hot air balloon. I feel like I see how the option to switch between operator and drifter. Nice. Oh my god, not the Cetus music. That's so cool. Wait, but what happened to the third... What happened to the third Archon? You only have to fight two? I love that we're doing the Cetus music there. It's actually really inspired and motivated now. Especially knowing that we're like helping the people of Cetus. It's really cool. Wow. Isn't it cool how the music for that, the soundscape for the reactivation of the temple is this, is l just low brass? that very badly. Ooh, can I recover? No. <laughs> Follow the light. <gasps> cool. Oh. This is not your fight. Oh shit. Enough. We got to fight Lotus. This is mine. No. He put hooks in you that go deep and you are not back to your fighting weight lady whoa you are warned keep to your place man umbra was full stop perfect for this quest i mean we'll definitely do more death we'll definitely do definitely you're not yourself not yet we can find the last archon Oh. Together. There is no time. Oh my god, again? No Fuck, dude. Mercy. For an armor. Pregasa must be stopped before Ooh. Ballas can fulfill her original purpose. Nice accent. Pregasa. Pregasa cannot be allowed to feed. What the fuck is that? Seriously, where is this thing? Oh, it's what do you mean? Feed on what? Planet. The sun. <gasps> what the fuck? The sun? God, I love adult Tenno so much. <gasps> Umbra! Fucking get back in there. Oh no, sorry. Attention's dead. <laughs> Fucking what's his name? <laughs> Attention's very dead. My bad. Well met, Tedo. It's fucking so no long. It's funny, the Railjack missions like satisfy some inner part of me that deeply loves Star Wars. It's weird. I find myself wanting to make shooting noises like pew, pow, 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 pow. also the way that the cockpit looks and stuff 
It's just super satisfying. Great shot, kid. Oh. That was one in a million. Thing appears to be eating the sun. Should have stayed in Deviri. Huh? Could we uh, tuck into the shadows of the wrecked ships for approach? Could have stayed in Duviri. Should have stayed in Duviri. Wait, is it actually eating the fucking sun? Oh my god. Warframe is fucking crazy, dude. I don't want to hear it from anybody. Long have you waited for the sign? In fucking Warframe. A giant ship Look eats the, the sun. It grows what game do you play? Oh. My father was right. But it's too late. What? I cannot stop Ballas. No one can. Soon, my people... Yours too will all be destroyed for the pride of one man. Follow me. All right, that was a change of. Uh, okay. I mean, it's all Era's fault. Like, I don't know. He definitely doesn't get to go away like with a clean slate because he fucked everything up. The Lotus reaches him. He will make her his puppet. Together, they will annihilate the sun. And so, my sister must... <sighs> Listen, I never finished rebuilding her. It might have made the difference. Oh, dude, why don't you just go kill your own Archon, man? Get that shit done. Uh oh. The final Archon! It will be waiting for you! Maybe its power will make her whole again. Dead Space Reference. To resist. Understood. Thank you. Damn, he dies just like that? Holy shit. I don't even have... I don't even have the bow. Come on. One, like, one hit left. Come on. How did you see that? I had 15 HP. What a glorious reunion. You and Mother Dearest both come to send me on my way. I am ready, Tenno. Are you? worlds. Beg, and I will make you complete again. I had something different in mind. I loved you once. You were so like her. Oh, he made her in her image. Oh. But she chose death over you. Fuck. That's an insult and a half. But he made the parasynthesis. Er, er, parasit. I said to stay out of this. 
But you can't, can you? Still desperate to save her from herself. You never truly knew I still her, want to understand the green. You? What she most needs. No! Get in there. Oh shit. Poor Umbra can never catch a break, I swear. <gasps> shit. Why do you make me do these things? No. No. This fucker. Oh, fuck yeah. Say I love you. Oh, man. My I was hoping. Master. I. No. Love you. My master. <laughs> you hear the deformed version of this no. is what you are. <gasps> no. Oh my god! Fuck! For me. Yeah. There's a good girl. Repair the hurt you have dealt us. Have dealt me. No! No, damn it, no! You had to have a child. And with an open heart, I gave you this. And my reward? Being left to watch as all your love, my love, oh, was... poured he into got... the bottomless well. He got jealous? Abominable child. Oh my god. This man has a very tiny pee pee, probably. I remember my. Old self dissolving beneath your fingers. <laughs> you got little little pee pee energy. Shaping oh. me. Oh no, you fuck. Could you imagine if it was game over? Yes, let's discuss what I did. I, who have endured your torture of me, your lies. Your betrayals without complaint. All for you. And this is my reward. You. You. You lie. You are small. Pitiful. I am loved. You. A mask. Why did he ask us to make the it. sword? I don't understand. Pitiful, broken thing. A puppet accusing her maker of a lack of substance. Oh, was it? Very well. She can take your punishment for you. Pitiful, broken thing. A puppet accusing her maker of a lack of substance, was it? Oh, okay. Let's do it. Oh. As well, the unstoppable annihilation of every single last thing. Pleased? Satisfied? Are you now full up with death? Oh shit. Really? My vision 
was only ever comprehensible to myself. My ambition beyond the grasp of okay. people. Thus, I have always been alone. Your death changes nothing. People warned me against you, you know, early on, before the Jade Light. <laughs> I should have listened. Child, run! Run? Where should they run to? You've only destroyed everything! Oh shit. Oh no. no. At last. <gasps> no! Now, Neil. Oh. Jesus. You monstrous bitch! Oh! Listen to those taiko drums go. My he had that in his backpack the whole time? How does she consume his energy like that? Wow. What in the fuck is this? <laughs> oh my fucking god? Chills, man. How do you feel? I... I thought I was Nata, Margulis, uh, Lotus? 
That's up to you. He's gone. You? Thank you. At the end, what did you see? I saw... nothing. Nothing. We've got work to do. Narmer's shattered, but they've got a martyr now. And the old guard are already eager to fill the vacuum. If you're ready. I... I'm not sure. There are voices. I am not one. I know. But maybe you can choose one voice to lead the others. It's your choice. That's very interesting. Nata is who she is. Lotus is who she was to us. And Margulis is who she pretended or was forced to be born into to be. And all three are valid forms of her. Kind of reminds me of like, as we get older in life, we, we ourselves are like you and I, or we are not the same people we were like 10 years ago. Right. But we're all like, I'm Marco from 2013, but I'm not, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm also not the Marco from, you know, it's funny. Our names don't necessarily change. They can, but it's really interesting. That's a hard choice. I don't want her to be Margulis. Oh. Oh, I missed this part. I see violence and suffering in our future. Thought ugly. We will need compassion Margulis and is not who she is. in equal measure. I am the Lotus. Wow. The paradox of the drifter's origins and the threads binding them to a nameless void entity. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, wow. Oh, that's what it was. It was Eidolon energy. Yeah, that's a fuck no. I would never... Bleh. I'm good. Ugly ass Nata. Scary as shit, too. Yeah, my final thoughts on the quest... You know, so it's interesting because... Like I was saying during the stream... I really liked how personal and special Chains of Haro felt. And the sacrifice especially. So I felt that it was a little bit uh, of a, de a major departure... Um, from that sort of like small sort of personal stories to the larger um you know more overarching plot which so it's interesting because in, in a lot of ways um you know yeah in a lot of ways i'm really happy with how it turned out because there was a lot of high stakes we lost a lot of people it was interesting it reminded me a little bit of um in battlefield one when you start the story you sort of the first story you go through and every like character you're playing as was a real person who actually died or or like you know this sort of show, showcasing the the problems with war and um i really liked that we, you know things were left uh you know really yeah and then and then when we got on when we started to uncover uh you know what happened on the Zeremon. Uh that was really cool too. Uh just the dynamics at play and, and experiencing uh the relationship with those kids and like the fact that their parents became infested. And then you know, I really like how 
the drifter and the operator had lunch or dinner or whatever it was in their childhood home in their childhood room essentially together it was sort of this beautiful bonding moment um one time i uh i was doing a meditation with uh, like a guided meditation with somebody and i was supposed to go and pr- like feel uh see myself in the future and it was a really interesting experience to i, I wept um because it was like like older me was talking to me in this sort of meditation like visual thing that i was doing um and so it's it was that was really cool to me that they got to spend time together because they both had like a like a shared you know that shared multiverse consciousness that, that i would assume like if you met yourself in the future or in a different multi in a different universe kind of like um you know w- would you would you be this you wouldn't be the same because your life experience would be different but would the conversation be like like talking to someone that knows you deeply like it would probably be even deeper than talking to a, a sibling um So I found that really cool. Well, anyway, folks, uh, feel free to join the Discord. Uh, Thanks a ton. This was a great stream.